Sí. Here we go. First video in like a month, but we're here we are. It's beautiful outside. I've even had to shut the blinds because the sun's coming in and it's only mid-April, so I want to go outside. But I was like, I'm gonna do a YouTube video for the people. Well, because I haven't uploaded in a month, but still, here we are. So what it's gonna be is is the logo design process from start to finish. And this is a real life client. Uh, that I've recently just worked with and I thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you guys everything from start to finish like uh, first contact to export the files and send them off so I've done a little presentation just quickly explaining the different steps what we had to go through uh, the work that I actually sent to them uh, and I just think this would be a really good insight for people who are just getting into design just getting into freelancing and they want to know a bit more about like the business and how it works and yeah like I say this is a real life case study so I hope you do like it if you do leave us a like I love when you do that and subscribe for more content I will be back on this now I've just had a really busy past month three weeks uh, but I'm back now so let's get into it straight away so like I say the logo design process um to start off point of contact what happened was uh like many people now uh, a guy reached out to us on instagram and just said he'd seen some of your work and uh, he wanted to know if i'd be interested in working with him on two uh projects actually but this was the first one this was a logo design for himself so a little bit about him he's a musician and he just wants to brand himself under a name like most musicians do and yeah, so we've just getting started. So he just said to me, I need a logo, is that something you do? And I said, yes, of course. And then we had a little bit back and forth and uh, told us what he wanted out of the project. And I usually would suggest three concepts, um, just kind of, uh, just to give you that different range. Uh, however, I knew that the budget wasn't that big. And so I just suggested to him, I just said, look, why don't we just do two concepts? And uh, I think we could probably nail it with them. I'm not saying we did, but that's what I said. And like I say, it's a real life project. This is just how it went. And he said, great. So then moving on from there, we discussed obviously the project, the outcome. So all it was, was two concepts with two rounds of amendments if needed. And then the exports of the usual EPS, PDF, JPEG and PNG. And that's it. So. Moving on next, and I said about the pricing. It's really important to get your pricing out there straight away, guys. Don't go back and forth with someone all day just to tell them your pricing and then them to go, oh, sorry, I don't have enough money. Like, get it out there straight away. Don't be afraid. Believe in your pricing that it's not overpriced. So believe in it. So the way that I do it is I do 50% up front and 50% upon completion. And I do this with every single project. It doesn't matter if it's £100, doesn't matter if it's £1,000. If they're not willing to pay 50% up front, red flag, don't work with them. Simple as that. If they're not willing to pay it then, they're not going to pay it afterwards. And I find that this is a perfect way to wean out the uh, the good and the bad clients straight away. And um, it pretty much, the way I explain to people, as I say, it's just as much an insurance for me as it is for you. You know I'm going to do the work because you've paid this. Whereas if you didn't pay, and in three weeks' time, you'd be like, where's these concepts? I'd be like, well... You didn't pay, so you're kind of at the back of the queue because these are the people who did pay 50%. So it's really good to get the 50% straight up. And then if they pay that straight away, you're good to go. And you know for a fine fact they're going to pay the 50% at the end. And I actually bypass doing a lot of contracts doing it this way. I know sometimes you can get stung by it, but so far I haven't. And yeah, hopefully I don't. But yeah, 50% front, 50% upon completed. He said, yes, no problem. Sent over the money. So then we began the work. So first off, I began the research and then moved on to the design. Now the research, I didn't really do too much. It was just more about his um, genre of music, what he was into, and it's more like soft, acoustic, loose, Capaldi type style. That's how he explained it. I did ask for some music for me to listen to to get a bit of a, a feel for what he wanted. However, he didn't have any, so I just kind of had to like dig a little bit and just kind of go off my own intuition as a designer as to what would work for him. 
and then we moved on to the design so uh, these are the initial two com concepts that I did um, so pretty much this was like a full day of working on these so I'd say probably about eight hours for the two um, I did some sketch like see like like the normal stuff we all do you know the, the research the sketching when you find a style and then start vectorizing it a little bit I haven't actually took pictures of any of the sketches I probably should have added that in but they weren't great my sketches are like I will do tiny little things but then it clicks and then I know what I can do digitally with it so it's kind of just more just to get things flowing it's nothing like a portfolio piece so first concept basically it was under the name Jim which is his name as an artist. He wanted the G to be a standout piece and then the I and the M to kind of just sit alongside of it. So what I did for this concept, as you can see the logo theory in the top left, I got a music note, a J, and then I got this nice little stylized J. And then what I did was I then used elements of that to create the I and the M so it kind of flowed together and worked. And I actually really thought this was quite successful. I think um, I think it works quite well. You got a nice piece of, bit of depth. Uh, with the gradient which I think works and is quite nice and I like the color scheme as well quite uh, vibrant and modern um, and then moving on from the logo I then mock this up and now in the top right as you can see where it says victory it was a big thing for the client to have something where he could pull out a V from the gym so then he could use this because his first album is going to be victory so I kind of showed him how I used the V in the M to then which can be pulled out for victory and now that's not a finished piece that's just showing like it has legs for the future to work on uh, and then just the usual you know business cards mock up on a phone just uh, looks nice stylized and then i did a guitar pe plectrum because um obviously that's that's their field so that was uh concept one and now this was concept two this was kind of i had free reign this was kind of like what i thought would look well so i went more down the bit, uh, basis of an icon and typography instead of just concept one which was just typography um as you can see at the top left the logo theory is it's the j the i and the m in that stylized piece and it actually looks a little bit like a uh, like a note or like a, a keyboard key and i know it's not a keyboard player but it was kind of like well, it doesn't hurt it's in that field of music um I just thought it was quite a nice little stylized um, logo. And then same again with the M, I have that V that can be pulled out in the future and I showed that on the right hand side of the, the mock-ups. Same again, same exact mock-ups, you don't need to uh, do anything too much, you know, but clients are happy to see this, like it actually blows them away sometimes because they're used to just seeing just the logo on the screen. Um, and then basically sent it over, explained me theory. Initial feedback was he was like, I absolutely love them. He was like, can I show a few people and get their opinion? And straight away I said, absolutely. I said, in fact, I highly recommend take, don't reply to us for a few days. I think it was on a Friday. So I said, spend the weekend, talk to people because people can fall in love with it. And then 10 minutes later, they go like, oh no, actually. I said, sit with them a bit, keep looking at them, show people, get their opinions and don't jump into it, it doesn't have to be an overnight thing, you know, take your time with it. Three days later, he came back and said, actually, I've had a think, he's like, I want to merge concept one and concept two. He said, I love them both, um, but he said, I would really like to um, make just the G, the icon, and then the um, gym underneath, and I was like, no problem, because really, I actually, if I did three concepts at the beginning, I probably would have done that and that was my fault I should have hit that so I actually felt like I owed the client to do what he probably envisioned but he didn't really explain it maybe as well in the brief as what someone else would who was in the field of design because we know so I, I maybe miss not misread it because he was happy with it but I didn't completely nail the brief if you know what I mean and sometimes that happens you know you You've just got to work with the client until you get there in the end and in all honesty that's the end result that's what people are happy with so yeah i kind of took a step backwards and what i did was i reassessed and this is what i came back with i did a stylized g but i used the typography from concept one and um, so then i'm still incorporating that concept it's not completely lost but i used a stylized g like what he asked for another one here um i actually used a, a serif font this time it just when I put a sans serif with it, cause I think cause that logo is so blocky, they were just fighting um, for who who had the hierarchy. So actually putting that softer typeface in 
worked really well to make that gear really stand out and that's what the client wanted and then finally this was concept 2's gear from the original gym just because he said he kind of wanted to merge them i didn't want to seem as if i wasn't listening to him um so i want to put this in again so technically he, he, it's like having five concepts but he didn't really because they were all birthed from the initial two concepts they kind of just got developed and sometimes you have to go through this process sometimes you have to take a step back to move forward uh and then yes from that the client actually picked concept two from the second round so that was this one very happy with it didn't want any changes so i just simply like i said exported it uh got the 50 percent payment and then sent it over and then he was happy and job done and yeah uh, I hope this was a good insight for you guys just to like show like a real life project of how I've presented it the feedback I've had and how I've approached dealing with the clients requests and um, because I know some people who are just new to this it took me so long to find what works best and in all honesty I feel like I'm learning every day still so yeah I hope uh, you found this interesting guys I'll do more in the future if you want on other projects or even do it live where I actually take you through these in new, different videos and I like design live um, and make a video out of it. Obviously I'll have to get the client to sign off they're happy with that before it's actually signed off with them but I'm sure it would be fine to do it. Uh, but yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, ah, focus on me. Uh, leave a like, <laughs> friend. Uh, subscribe and go enjoy the sun while it's here because it's April and in May it'll be snowing because welcome to England. Right, all right guys, I'll see you later in the next video.